Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I live in Ontario and we here <laughs> have decided to go back into lockdown. When I say we, I mean the Ontario government. And I figured this would be a great time to film a week of my workouts for you guys. You can totally do these workouts at the gym as well. It just depends on the equipment you have. You can adjust these workouts to be more home friendly. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up a two. Gym outfit of the day, Alpha Elite Fit. We have the surface wrap, I want to say. My fave little sports bra, limitless bra, I believe. As you guys know, I have recently just gotten into CrossFit. I'm absolutely obsessed, to say the least. It's just been really fun, a really fun challenge for me. A lot of new movements, a lot of strength building, a lot of focusing on actual like fitness and being fit instead of just the way I look. I first started getting into bodybuilding because I struggled with eating disorders and I'm not going to get too far into that but weightlifting really 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 did save my life, change my life for the better. So nothing against bodybuilding but you can't deny bodybuilding is very focused on aesthetics, how you look, Bodybuilding competitions are literally based on how you look. CrossFit has been completely different. It is about how well you perform in the gym. It's about how strong you're getting. It's so nice to focus on something that has absolutely nothing to do with how you look. That's the style of training that you're mostly going to see in this video. And that being said, don't go click out because you're like, oh, I don't do CrossFit. Give it a chance. Use this video to see if this would be a week of workouts that you might be interested in doing. I'm giving you guys the full breakdown of these workouts. Goes. Firstly, we start with a warm up. Whether that's in the gym or at home, we are always going to warm up. When I go to a CrossFit class, they have a programmed warm up already, so we just do that. But when I'm training from home, I'm getting a little bit more in depth in my warm up. I'm going to foam roll. Now, I still like to foam roll when I'm going to the gym. If I have time and if I feel like it, slash if I convince myself to do it, I will quickly foam roll before I drive to the gym just to kind of get the blood flowing in my legs. I noticed someone commented on Instagram and said, why are you foam rolling before your workout? And it's getting that blood flow, opening up my legs. I really notice a difference in my hip mobility during my workouts if I'm foam rolling my hips and my quads before my workout. Then we are going to do some mobility slash stretching slash activation. This is stuff that's kind of like doing some hip openers, just doing some stretches, getting some blood flow again throughout your body, doing some active stretching. So you're not sitting there and holding a stretch, you're doing more like movement stretching, if that makes sense. If I'm doing something that's very upper body focused, I will work on like opening up my chest, maybe with some bands. If I'm doing something more lower body, I'll work on kind of activating my glutes, my hamstrings and getting those warmed up and ready for the workout. You just, you wanna make sure your muscles are warm, that they're ready for the workout because that's how we are going to prevent injuries and just get the best out of your workout. Then we move on to the second portion of the workout and this is the strength portion. So, so far, this is the same as a bodybuilding workout. You're doing your warm up, you're doing your activation, and then you're getting into your strength or compound movement. So you're gonna do squat, a deadlift, a clean, an overhead press, something that you are going to be working on for that workout. Now this isn't always a big heavy strength movement. This is more of like a strength slash skill building portion. Three, you are moving on to a Metcon. That stands for metabolic conditioning. So that is some sort of cardio circuit. Now this is exactly what I do when I go to the CrossFit gym, is I do these three things. I do my warm up, my strength, my Metcon, and then we're done, because we only have an hour. Now that I'm at home, we are adding to this. So I'm gonna go number four, accessory movement. If my strength and my Metcon are both kind of focused on lower body, it's more of a lower body kind of focused day, maybe I'll do two lower body accessory movements just to work on those muscle groups. So I'll do like some hamstring curls and some hip thrusts or something like that, just to kind of build those muscles that I'm using for both of these movements. Another thing that we don't have time for at the gym, unfortunately, because I think this is really important, 
is a cool down. I think it's really important to do cool downs and stretching and that kind of thing. We just don't have time for it at the gym because we are in those one hour time slots. Today's workout, deadlift. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. Lifting portion of the workout is done. Worked my way up to 185 times three. Was debating going to do 205 today, but my hamstrings are just very sore from rowing yesterday. What I'm trying to open right now is my liquid chalk. I just got this at Sport Check. I don't want this room to get like covered in dusty chalk. I just squeeze some onto my hand. It just comes out as a white little blob. You don't need a lot. And then I put it on my hand and you can't see it at first, but as it dries, it just turns into this more like a chalky consistency. I bought myself some nice little crossfitty kind of shoes. These are the Reebok Nanos. I absolutely adore them. I'm moving on to the Metcon now and I'm really nervous. I always get butterflies before I do these because you just know you're gonna die during them. Nine deadlifts, nine burpees for 10 rounds. I am going to set a timer because you are doing this as fast as you can. Um, I'm also, I'm doing 135 by the way for the weight. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn this ship around. We can turn this ship around. All the way back home. Chasing all that we do not care. Chasing all that we don't have. Chasing all that we do not care. We do not all the way back home. Chasing all that we do not care. Chasing all that. That was good. So we got 17 minutes, 12 seconds for that. I went way too heavy. So my lower back was blowing up. I found my grip was gone, basically. Like I could not hold the bar. So if I was going to do that again, I'd probably go a little bit lighter, do maybe 115 instead of 135. I think I could have buzzed through that with a lighter weight. The burpees felt really easy. It was just the deadlift. My grip and my lower back were gone by like round four. So I feel great now that that's done. Now all I have left to do is my accessory movements. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. You get to do this workout now. I'm gonna do a couple of accessory movements now just to get a little bit of a glute burn. But yeah, usually like my workout will be done there. Like if we go to the gym and do our one hour class, like that would be the end for a workout right there. And that's it, we're dead, we're tired. Yesterday we could be ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other. But now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. It's what I like laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes, laughing with my friends under the sky. Today's workout the gym that I go to actually posted a workout in the app that we can go on, it's just with one dumbbell. So I'll probably just do this today instead of making my own. I am so sore. I'm gonna push through and try to do this workout today. There is a lot of running. I hate running. I hate it. But it is broken down into sets of 400. So there's one, two, three sets of 400 meters. So it won't be as bad, but anything over like a thousand meters, ugh, anything over 800 meters. It's a no from me. Today I'm not gonna do any strength movement. I am just 
too sore. I'm just gonna do my nice little warm up. I'm gonna go into the Metcon for today. It should take me probably about 15 to 20 minutes. That'll be my entire workout for today. And then I'll just do some like mobility, cool down kind of stuff like that. So it's gonna be quick and short today. There is no need to be killing yourself in the gym for two hours every day. Today's fit. Have some alphalete pants, surface power. I have a long sleeve here. Also alphalete, and I have this little jacket from Story. The sky, following our hearts, so then we take a ride. Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly, fly away. That's the only way to get that high. So that took me just over 14 minutes to do. It was mostly running the whole time. I hate running. <sighs> Hi, honey. It's Wednesday today. Roll call check. Firstly, I got some knee sleeves. Cute. I've got an ab mat. I use this more for handstand push-ups. You put it like, against the wall, your hands go on either side of it, and your head hits this so that your head's not like coming down onto the ground. Cute. These are just some 35 pound plates. So I grabbed two of these. I now have some 35s. And then what I'm most excited for is these freaking ropes. These handles are so cute and small. This is just to practice double unders. It's great this came today because I really wanted to use this in today's workout. Today we're gonna do an EMOM. So I've posted these on Instagram before. I actually post them quite a bit. They're a great way to do workouts from home in just like a circuit style training. If you guys like any of my YouTube hits, I feel like you guys will really like an EMOM as well. It's every minute on the minute. And today we're gonna do our standard number one, our warm up. Then number two for our strength slash skill building movement, we're gonna practice double unders for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're just gonna work on these, so we're not doing a heavy strength movement. We're not doing any like deadlifts, cleans, squats, anything like that. We're just gonna strictly be practicing our double unders. And then we're moving on to the Metcon, which is going to be the EMOM of today. Probably gonna just pick five exercises and just cycle through those four times for a nice 20 minute little circuit EMOM workout. Big time grout fit today. We're going full gray. I have like a little gray sports bra, gray amplify leggings, aka the best leggings you will ever freaking own, and gray shoes, gray socks. My double unders are embarrassing. Can you see like the slash marks that I have on my arms? I wasted all my time. I wasted all my nights. I wasted it on someone who's indifferent. He didn't love me right He told me I was blind But I never really wanted to listen
There's a nice rest on the pistols, but the burpees and the rowing. And 16 snatches takes a while. If you guys don't have a rower, I would recommend either using whatever cardio machine you have or going outside, do like a quick sprint down the road and back. You can figure something else out to do there too. You could do like high knees on the spot for like 45 seconds worth because it took me about 45 seconds to do the row. So just find some sort of cardio thing. You can't do pistol squats. You can do like a goblet squat holding a dumbbell or you can do like assisted pistol squats to like hold on to something or sit down into a chair. So there's always alterations that you can make for home workouts and whatever equipment you have. Yesterday was Thursday and I did not work out. I took a rest yesterday. I didn't do anything active at all. I don't really have a plan for today's workout. I do want to do some cleans because I feel like I haven't practiced like cleans in a while. I just built something. I just built this little plate tree because I was tired of my plates being stacked on the ground. It was just annoying me so i bought this off rogue keep rearranging this room but this is what it's looking like now for the workout stuff i feel like it's just so much cleaner because when i'm filming workout videos i didn't want all of this like in the background on the floor it was kind of bothering me here i am hi i get so many questions on this shirt and i just want to say that it's very very old and they don't sell these anymore so i'm sorry Okay, it went very pink today, as you can see. These are old Revival R6 shorts. This is an old tri bra. Pink, pink, pink. This is a little pink night swim scrunchie, and we do have these in stock. This is the only thing in stock from this outfit. I'm sorry. You can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back, 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 back. The usual, warming up, you know. Love story, just say yes. This like outer quad gets so, so tight for me. I kind of stand on my toes. My quads take a lot of the weight, I guess, for my body. My chiropractor suggested that I always at least foam roll or somehow loosen up a muscle right here on the outside of my quad. So I've really been trying to foam roll this area here, not directly on the IT band, more just like on that outer quad kind of area. I find especially down here, it gets super tight. So I'm trying to really focus on opening up that area and foam rolling it right before my workouts. Okay, I don't really have a plan for today's workout, but I'm gonna put down at least what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Warm up foam roll, standard. Cleans. I'm just gonna do probably, like I have no sets, no reps planned. I just kind of work, wanna work on my form. Then a Metcon, which I don't know what I wanna do yet. Number four down here, I'm gonna do some death by squats. So I'm also gonna do it with my weight vest on because I haven't even used my weight vest yet, weight vest yet and I wanna use it. So death by squats, it's basically an EMOM kind of thing. So minute one, you do one squat. Minute two, you do two squats. Minute three, you do three squats. And you keep going and keep going until you get to like 26 minutes and 26 squats and you can't get it done within that minute anymore. So it's a lot of squats, it really burns. It's super easy for the first like 10 minutes because you're only adding one squat per round, but it can get really hard by the end. So I think I'm gonna burn out with that instead of doing accessory movements, like that might be kind of like my accessory. Yeah, and then five is stretch.
point. Very, very sweaty here. Hi. Sorry, that was douchey. I just finished my last workout of the week. Today was Saturday's workout. I just wasn't feeling like picking up the camera before. So I filmed that workout on my phone because I'm gonna post it on Instagram as well. That's why the clips are vertical. Say you don't like the games, but you play me like there's no tomorrow. You should know that. These are both old items. Sorry about that. But these are some of my fave shorts with the little V ting. We have this little sports bra. I'm so sweaty. Okay, that is all. That's gonna wrap up my week of workouts. At least with these home workouts, I'm trying to just be really creative, just work on stuff that I wanna work on and make my workouts really fun and engaging just something to get active every day yeah not following a program or anything just going day by day with these home workouts for this next month that we're in lockdown so let me know if you guys want me to film another week of workouts when the gyms are open again if that's something you guys would be interested in yeah check out my instagram because i post most of my workouts on there i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one sweaty